Good morning students. In this lesson, we will study in detail about cell. The branch of science that deals with the study of living organisms is called biology. Cytology is one of the sub-branch of biology in which we study about the composition, structure and function of a cell. Therefore, the study of cell is called cytology. Cell is the basic structural and functional unit of life. It was discovered by a scientist named Robert Hooke in the year 1665. The word cell is derived from a Latin word cella which means small. The size of the cell is very small that it can only be seen with the help of a microscope. The size of the cell is measured in microns. One micron is equal to one thousand of a millimeter. Since all organisms are made up of cells, so the organisms that are made up of a single cell are known as unicellular or prokaryotes. For example, bacteria, euglena, amoeba are all unicellular organisms. The organisms made up of many cells are known as multicellular or eukaryotes. For example, human, plant, insects and animals are all multicellular organisms. Now we are going to study about the typical parts of a cell. The cell consists of the following main parts. Cell wall, cell membrane, cytoplasm, nucleus. The cytoplasm and the nucleus together forms the protoplasm. Students, now we will discuss about the cell wall. The cell wall is the outermost layer present only in plant cell. It is a non-living structure which is made up of cellulose. The function of the cell wall is to give mechanical shape to the cell and to protect the internal structure of the cell. Students, now we will discuss about the cell membrane. The cell membrane is the outermost layer in the animal cell and in the plant cell it is present inside the cell wall. It is a semi-permeable membrane which allows certain substances to move in and out of the cell. It also protects the internal structure of the cell. The cell membrane is also known as the plasma membrane. Students, now we will discuss about the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is a jelly-like fluid which fills the interior part of both the plant and the animal cell. The cytoplasm acts like a laboratory for the cell since all the chemical reaction takes place inside the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm contains all the living and non-living minute structures of the cell. Students, now we will discuss about the nucleus. The nucleus is a round or an oval shaped body present inside the cytoplasm. The nucleus acts like a brain for the cell as it controls all activities of the cell. The nucleus and the cytoplasm together forms the protoplasm. 